Breaking news. Another security formation attacked in rivers by unknown gunmen. Five soldiers feared dead. Hello, my wonderful viewers. We are back again, my channel. Please, if you are new to my channel, I thank you for passing by. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. God will surely bless you for so doing. And to my old subscribers, I thank you for so doing too. So, let's go straight to the news. Another security formation attacked in River State by unknown gunmen. Five soldiers feared dead. This is a fresh attack that the gunmen had just um, killed five soldiers again. Now, the gunmen on Monday morning attacked the camp at Abua in Abua Odua local government area, killing the officers. Although the Sikh Division of the Nigerian Army in Port Harcourt is here to release an official statement, two top security personnel in River State confirmed the attack and killings to Channel's television. Meanwhile, all heads of the security agencies in River State are currently at a meeting at the headquarters of the River State Police Command, ostensibly to re strategize ahead of the new scale of insecurity in the state. This attack comes barely 24 hours after government killed some police and custom officers at their patrol base in Ishokpo, the headquarters of Ikure local government area, which is along the Port Harcourt Owori Road. While the police are yet to reveal the casualty figure for Saturday's night's attack in Ishokpo, the Nigerian Custom Service, NCS, had said three of his personnel were killed by the gunmen. The spokesperson for Zonsi, Custom Federal Operations Unit, Mr. Jerry Atta, told Janet Television on Sunday that the gunmen also went away with an AK-47 rifle and two Toyota Hilux vans belonging to the service. He said a thorough investigation would be carried out to unravel the cost circumstances that led to the attack and to unravel the motive of the assailant. Atta blamed the killing of the security operatives on armed smugglers whose business have been frustrated by the customs in recent times. So my people, that is just the latest. So the, these unknown gunmen have finally brought their, their attack on River State and they are rampaging River State. Despite the governor's, um, um, I would say, his comments on how his state is being secured and all that, you can see now that it is not about how you brag. It is not about it. Don't just pray that these people should remember you. If they remember you, it doesn't matter what, how, or the type of security um, formations you have in your state. It does not matter. For one thing is that the whole country is in disarray. The whole country. The insecurity is everywhere from the north to south. It is not an issue that you are going to attribute it to one particular group or the other. No, 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 not at all. The main cause of this problem, the main cause of this problem is the greediness of our security, no, 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 sorry, our politicians. The greediness of our politicians, that is what is responsible for all this insecurity that is happening all over the country. There are part, the ambition of the Fulani headsmen to take over the whole of Nigeria. That is another issue. And the high-handedness of our security men against the citizens. You see, all these things coupled together is what is causing this insecurity right now. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. You cannot, you can't cope it anymore. It has gone out of control. First of all, the politicians haven't stolen all the money meant to build factories for, for the youths, for all graduates. They did not. 
they took all this money to abroad, took their family abroad, their children, all of them studying abroad. They keep looting and looting and looting and looting. They forget that one day a hungry man will be an angry man. And today, the hungry man is now angry. Angry and now facing the politicians. A time will come. <laughs> there won't be a space for them to run away. No way. Where are you going to run to? Are you going to run to abroad? To abroad? There are Nigerians abroad waiting for all of them. That seed they have planted. Time to reap it is now. It does not matter how many security they have for themselves. Now the time has come. What is happening now is what is called revolution. If they don't know it, they should know it. That is how it starts. You see how they are killing these security officers, taking away their arms from them? This arm is what they will use to chase the politicians when the time comes. They will use it that time. You won't see any security, security man to say, guide you. Since he refused to listen, he refused to be kind to other human beings. He refused to do that. You were only thinking about your own stomach. And each time people rise up to protest, he used the police, he used the army to kill, to keep protesters. He don't let allow people to demonstrate and voice out their anger. You allow them to swallow their anger and you think that a day like this will not come. The day has arrived. This is morning. Because what they are dealing with now are the security men with arms. Because these are the, the people you sent to always to go and attack the poor man or to, to defend you. By the time they finish with the security people, you won't see anybody to defend you. Then these people will come after you. The politicians I'm referring to. Because they are the real cause of this problem. And... The worst of it is that Fulani people also want to take over Nigeria. And people are preparing as well to do what? To resist them. That is why you see too much of all this insecurity. That is my own analysis. And I believe that what I said is exactly what is taking place. Thank you.